Synaptic Transmission Introduction This is the process by which information from presynaptic neuron passes to the postsynaptic neuron through synapse. In a chemical synapse, it occurs due to release of neurotransmitter from presynaptic nerve terminal that initiates action potential in the postsynaptic neuron. The mechanism of synaptic transmission can be divided into presynaptic mechanisms and postsynaptic mechanisms. Presynaptic mechanisms. Vesicles containing neurotransmitter molecules that are concentrated at the active zone of the presynaptic axon terminal undergoes docking and priming. Docking. It is the process by which the vesicles become ready to discharge their content in response to a stimulus. The action potential that arrives at presynaptic axon terminal depolarizes the presynaptic membrane. Depolarization of membrane causes opening of voltage-gated calcium channels that allows calcium to enter the axon terminal through the active zone. Increasing calcium concentration in the presynaptic terminal increases calcium-mediated exocytosis of the vesicles. Calcium causes fusion of vesicles to the presynaptic membrane and then help to discharge their content into the cleft. Priming Normally, small synaptic vesicles recycle in the presynaptic terminal. The mature vesicles move to the active zone, dock, and get primed. When action potential arrives, calcium influx facilitates fusion of vesicles with presynaptic membrane that causes discharge of granular content into the synaptic cleft. Fusion of synaptic vesicle with the cell membrane is facilitated by synaptobrevin, a V-snare protein present in vesicular membrane and syntaxin, a T-snare protein present in the cell membrane. Synaptobrevin attaches and interacts with syntaxin for docking and priming of vesicles. Various other synaptic proteins, SNAP25 connected with syntaxin and alpha-gamma SNAPs connected with synaptobrevin facilitate the interaction between synaptobrevin and syntaxin. A multi-protein complex regulated by small GT pace, like RAB3, also participates in the process. Kiss and run discharge. Discharge of synaptic vascular contents takes place through a small hole in the cell membrane, which immediately closes rapidly. In this process, the main vesicle remains inside the cell. This is called kiss and run discharge. Following discharge, some vesicles are quickly recovered by endocytosis and refilled locally in which the endocytic process is short-circuited. Transmitter is released into the synaptic cleft and a quantized amount that diffuses passively across the synaptic cleft to the postsynaptic membrane. Quantal release of neurotransmitter is sometimes called Dale's phenomenon. From the calcium influx to the transmitter release, it takes about 200 microseconds. Clinical link Many neurotoxins inhibit release of neurotransmitters by preventing attachment of synaptobrevin and syntaxin. For example, tetanus and botulinum toxins act on synaptobrevin and syntaxin that in turn prevents fusion of vesicles with membrane that blocks release of neurotransmitters from presynaptic terminals. Botulinum toxin They are of seven types, ranging from A to G. A and B botulinum toxins act on SNAP25 and prevent the interaction between synaptobrevin and syntaxin that in turn prevents docking and priming of vesicles. Botulinum C acts on syntaxin and prevents its attachment with synaptobrevin. Botulinum toxin B, D, F, and G act on synaptobrevin and prevents its attachment with syntaxin. Thus, the botulinum toxins produce flaccid paralysis by inhibiting release of acetylcholine at neuromuscular junction. Clinical uses of botulinum toxin. For its muscle relaxation effect, botulinum toxin in small doses is used for the treatment of conditions that produce muscle hyperactivity. For example, injection of toxin into lower esophageal sphincter and achalasia cardia produces relaxation of the sphincter. In low doses, it is also used to decrease the facial wrinkles by causing relaxation of facial muscles. Tetanus toxin. Tetanus toxin act on synaptobrevin and prevents its attachment with syntaxin. Tetanus toxin prevents release of other neurotransmitters from vesicles at different synapses in CNS and therefore produces spastic paralysis. Postsynaptic mechanisms. The neurotransmitter binds with the receptors in the postsynaptic membrane 
and brings about conformational change in the receptor that either opens an ion channel or triggers a cascade of biochemical reactions that generate a second messenger, which in turn generates change in ionic permeability of the cell. Some of the transmitter molecules diffuse away from the postsynaptic receptor that are cleared either by enzymatic degradation or taken back into the presynaptic cell by endocytosis. After the binding the neurotransmitter with receptors, the ion channels in the postsynaptic membrane open up and movement of ions occurs. Depending on the ion, cation or anion, and the direction of movement, the membrane potential of the postsynaptic membrane changes either towards depolarization or hyperpolarization. This change in membrane potential, also called synaptic potential, creates signal in the postsynaptic neuron. Transmission in electrical synapses, the pre- and postsynaptic membranes come close together to form gap junctions. Gap junctions are low-resistance channels through which ions pass easily. Electrical activities of one neuron can pass to other directly through gap junctions. Transmission through electrical synapse differs from that of chemical synapse by following ways. The latency of excitatory postsynaptic potential generated in the postsynaptic neuron is shorter in electrical synapse than in chemical synapse. Electrical synapses exhibit bidirectional transmission, whereas the direction of transmission in chemical synapses is unidirectional. Magnification modification of the signal does not occur in electrical synapse. In contrast, magnification modification of the signal can occur in chemical synapse. Impulses travel in a shorter time in electrical synapse, whereas it takes longer for impulses to travel in chemical synapses. Note, chemical synapses are superior to the electrical synapses in transmission of impulse.